Alright YouTube, what is going on? It's Hightower 5000 here, today bringing you a tale of two cats quest guide. The requirements for this quest are you must complete a Claren's Little Helper and all its subquests. The items you'll require are a cat, a hellcat, a wildcat or a kitten, a cat speak amulet, five death runes, chocolate cake, bucket of milk, one normal log, four potato seeds, one vial of water, desert robes plus desert shirt, it's also recommended to bring an enchanted water tiara, a Varrock teleport or have the Varrock lodestone activated and a Pharaoh scepter to make it easier to get to soften them. If you don't know how to get a cat speak amulet I will show you how to obtain that now. Firstly you'll need to take a cat, hellcat, wildcat or kitten it to soften them which is shown on screen. So if you're like me and you need a cat speak amulet, what you want to do is go ahead and drop your cat, kitten, whatever on the floor. You then want to go ahead and speak with Sphinx. Select option number two, do you have a spare amulet of cat speak? And you'll then be given a cat speak amulet. You then want to go ahead and pick up your kitten. So you want to make your way to Unferth's house in Birthorpe to get the quest started. Once you arrive at the quest start point, you want to go ahead and speak with Unit Threth. You'll then get the quest prompt, you want to go ahead and accept the quest. Do note your cat, kitten or whatever you've got with you will now be placed on the ground. From here you want to make your way to the east, you want to enter into the building which Hilda's in and go ahead and speak with her. If you don't already have your cat speak amulet in your inventory as a single amulet then go ahead and do so. You then might need to go ahead and break it off your cramulet. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and re-speak with Hild. You'll then have a cat speak amulet bracket E. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and pick up your pet kitten or cat. You then want to face in a northern direction. You then want to go ahead and right click and open the cat speak amulet. You then want to click on the cat whiskers until the eyes glow white. As you can see there is an arrow that is also glowing white along with the eyes which is pointing me to a southwestern direction. You need to go ahead and follow this direction until you find Bob. Now this is different for every single player so I really can't help you out with this at all. Just every 10 to 15 seconds reopen this and work out what direction the arrow is facing and eventually you'll be led to Bob. After a while you should eventually find Bob. Once you locate Bob go ahead and re-wear the cat speak amulet then go ahead and talk with him. So once you're done that conversation you want to make your way to Gertrude's house just to the west of Varok, shown on screen. Once you arrive at Gertrude's house go ahead and speak with her. Select option number one, ask about Bob's parents. You then want to go ahead and pick up your cat or kitten again. 
From here you want to make your way to Varrock Palace Library which is shown on screen and just is a little to your east and then north. Once you arrive in the Varrock Palace Library, you want to go ahead and speak with Reldo. Select option number two, I'd like to talk about something else. Select option number three, I'd like to talk about something else. Select option number one, ask about Robert the Strong. So you then want to return to where you originally found Bob. Bob should be there. If for some reason he isn't there, then just go ahead and use your amulet to go ahead and relocate him. He will not have gone far. So for me, I'm going to return to the northwest of Berthorpe. Once you have re-found Bob, go ahead and speak with him with your cat speak amulet on. You then want to go ahead and pick up your kitten. From here you need to make your way to Sophonum and speak with Sphinx which is shown on screen. The best way of getting to Sophonum is by using the Pharaoh Scepter. Pharaoh Scepters are quite a lot of money so you might be better going ahead and making your way to Alcrid than using the magic carpet to north of Polenvich and then using the magic carpet from the south of Polenvich down to Sophonum. If you are using the Pharaoh Scepter then you want to select option number one. Once you arrive in Sophonum, you want to go ahead and speak with Sphinx. Select option number one, ask the Sphinx for help. You then have the choice, you can go ahead and view the cutscene. It does last 5 minutes and 20 seconds, I'm just going to skip it by selecting option number two. You'll then be given some chores. You then want to go ahead and pick up your kitten, and then from here we need to return to Unfreth's house in Barthorpe where the quest started. So once you arrive back at his house, you actually don't want to speak with him yet. You want to go into his house and then climb up the stairs. You then want to go ahead and make the bed. You then want to go back down the stairs. You then want to go ahead and use your logs on the fireplace. You then want to go ahead and light the fireplace. You then want to go over to the table. You want to go ahead and use your chocolate cake on the table. And then you want to go ahead and use your bucket of milk on the table. You then want to go over and talk to Unfreth. Select option number two, cut Unfreth's hair. You then want to go ahead and pick up your kitten or cat. You then want to run round the back of his house. You then want to go ahead and rake the patch. You then want to go ahead and use the potato seeds on the patch. You now need to wait for the seeds to grow. This can take between 25 and 35 minutes and there's nothing we can do to speed this up. In the meantime, you can go away and do something else and feel free to. Your cat will notify you when they are done. So I'd recommend keeping that in your inventory. To know when the potatoes are done, you can't actually go ahead and harvest them. What you need to do is go ahead and speak with your cat or kitten. Select option number one, ask about the chores Bob sent you to do. Alternatively, you can go ahead and read the chores list and if a ten garden has a score through it then you'll know that the garden has been tended to. This is a bit misleading as you can't go ahead and harvest the potatoes so it does give a false impression where you may think yeah I haven't actually completed that task. Anyway, so once that's done you want to go ahead and pick up your cat or kitten and you then want to go back and speak with Unfreth.
So from here we need to make our way to the apothecary in Vanok, shown on screen. Once you arrive at the apothecary, you want to go ahead and speak with him. Select option number one, tell the apothecary that Unfreth is ill. You can then go ahead and select the doctor's or nurse's hat. I'm just going to select option number two, the doctor's hat. So from here, we need to return to Unfreth's house in Barthorpe. So once you arrive back at Unfreth's house, you want to go ahead and equip your doctor's or nurse's hat. You also want to have your cat speak amulet on, and then you want to have your desert robes on. Have nothing else equipped. You then want to go ahead and speak with him. You then want to go ahead and locate Bob the cat again and speak with him. Once you arrive back at Bob, you want to go ahead and speak with him with your cat speak amulet equipped. You'll then go into a short cutscene. Select option number two, speak to me, Bob, give me some wise words of advice. So you then want to go ahead and pick up your cat or kitten. You then want to return to Unferth in Barthorpe. Once you return, go ahead and speak with him. And that'll be the quest complete. So congratulations, you've completed A Tale of Two Cats. You're awarded with two quest points, a mysterious present, and two treasure hunter keys. Thanks very much for watching. Please leave a like rating, subscribe if you are new around here. Go down into the description below and check out my other quest series playlist where I'm sure I'll be able to help you out with another quest. And that's all for this video. So thanks very much for watching. My name is Hightower5000 and I'm out. Adios. Oh, one final note, you might want to go ahead and re-pick up your kitten.